All right, guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. We, uh, as you guys have seen in the last video, we have the garden fence in, poles are in, cemented in, and the fence is in. It is time to get it on because we are late. We're running behind, so let's get to it. Got some fun stuff to show you. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. Okay, guys, as you as you see, we got the poles on. We had our our friends come and help us stretch this fencing. Look at the hot operator. I got myself a hot operator. <laughs> Let's go see what, what she's doing here. All right, we had to borrow a, a friend's tractor so that we could uh, get a rototiller that was heavy duty enough to do this. You know, some of it's kind of broken up, but there's a lot of grass in here and we need to get this all chopped up. So yeah, we got a John Deere with a good rototiller. Uh-oh, there's a few uh, root balls in there still. John Deere 2720 four wheel drive hydrostatic transmission PTO driven this is the only way to till up ground look how amazing that is so she still needs to go down a little bit we've got all the grass off the top looks like but we need to get down to the dirt and this will take it down about 10 inches or so so she's just doing the very top you guys are gonna notice that it's got these discs on the side. We borrowed this from a friend who has a garlic farm. And uh, they like to use these discs to help heap up and do raised beds. So let me show you guys the, uh, the configuration here of what we're doing. Right through here, we're gonna be tilling this area up and we're gonna do raised beds right through here. And we're gonna use this dirt to fill the raised beds. We may leave, we're probably gonna leave a strip of grass in there but we're gonna do raised beds. We need some of that stuff to be tilled up. We'll dig that out, put the raised bed in there and put the dirt back in. All along this west fence over here, that's gonna be where the orchard is at. So we need to till all of that up along, the, along that whole fence over there. And then we're gonna put weed fabric over the top of it. And then we're gonna plant our orchard over there on the west side. Right here is gonna be where the, the chicken uh, coop is gonna be. They're gonna have a run. So I'm not gonna to touch any of that because the chickens are gonna love all this grass. But right out here in the middle, this whole area right here, we're gonna till up, put weed fabric over the top of it, and we're gonna grow corn and all kinds of fun stuff out here in the middle. So it is on, guys. Olivia's garden is exploding. We need to transplant a lot of that stuff into the new raised beds that we're gonna put together, so. Looking good, honey. You did, I didn't need to wait for you since I had already ready. That's right, you had the experience, so. I was inside making calls and talking to customers. I saw her run out here and jump on the tractor and get it going. She's already run this thing before. She knows what she's doing, so. Like I said, chicks on tractors are hot. This is an exciting moment. We're, this little little fence that we put up, it was just a temporary for one year, so we could get something in the ground. It's coming down right now. All right, guys, this was a huge milestone for us. The fence is down on our original garden that we did last year. Blueberries are growing, Olivia's stuff is growing. So she is tilling all of this stuff up and we have our fence up. So this is a huge milestone for us to be able to take this fence down. And of course I've got to put up a gate. Man, she's bossy. This dirt is so rich it is loamy it's soft it drains pretty well it's not super clay it's just like the perfect amount of everything we're gonna try two different methods here we've got the raised beds going for our fragile or our very uh, susceptible plants to gophers and, and bowls and whatnot we're gonna be doing some raised beds with the screening underneath we'll show you that in a little bit over here, we're gonna do some corn. You can't do enough corn in raised beds, so we're gonna go straight in the ground. So I know I'm gonna have some loss to, to gophers and moles and whatnot, but and then of course, we're gonna have our, our tree farm over here, so. Yeah, but this dirt is fantastic. All of this area right here was all floodplain. 
for the creek that's, that runs through there. So all of that rich black dirt, some of that dirt down there is just black. It is great for gardening. All right, guys, we got it all tilled up. We got this section tilled up. We're gonna do raspberries and blackberries, I think. I'm not sure exactly what we're putting in here, but yeah. Then we've got this section right here of really rich dirt. We're gonna be scooping that and putting it into raised beds to match everything else. Then we got the big metal section over there that's all done. That's gonna be all corn and it's got raised beds in it. This tiller is awesome. We borrowed it for uh, from some friends if you guys have not checked out Snow Valley Garlic, you need to go online and check out Snow Valley Garlic. They were kind enough to loan us their tractor with the tiller. And the two little discs on the sides makes those raised beds. It's fantastic. And we have the orchard. I got this all kind of graded out and flattened out. We're going to put fabric on this and we're going to go get some trees and plant those bad boys. So I did a quick little trick, guys, when you're cutting um, thin sheet metal is you turn your blade, flip it around backwards so you're not using the actual uh, teeth on the blade. So I'm gonna do that so I can cut this uh, sheet metal. We have all this extra sheet metal that's um, that we got used and have nothing to do with it except make some, some new beds. So we're gonna make our res raised beds right now. So I'm flipping this thing over, guys, and that way the blade, it's, you're basically using the back of the cutting edge to uh, cut the metal, show you guys how this how this works. Hey, you guys, leave me a comment. I had somebody tell me that they didn't want metal touching their dirt because of whatever happens with the uh, electrolysis or whatever affecting the plant growth. And so they had made these uh, raised beds with a metal, with a wood frame, then they had metal on the outside, but then they lined the inside with plastic. So I just bought a whole bunch of weed fabric from somebody, uh, on one of these uh, home groups up here that told me they were getting rid of their weed fabric because they didn't want plastic to be close to their dirt or their plants because of the breakdown of the plastic. So you guys leave me comments, let me know. Is, is metal electrolysis worse for your plants or is plastic worse for your plants? We're just gonna throw it on the ground and see what happens. What are you doing with that and where'd you get the wood? This is all the wood we saved from our teardown cabin. Yeah, stay tuned for that video guys. We have a little update on that one coming too. So all this is free lumber, all reclaimed. It's all yep. perfect. So it's 28 and three lines before 29. Oh, yeah, you mean the three quarters line? Yeah. yeah that one. Yeah, that one, okay. Okay. <laughs> 28 and three quarters. Okay, it is day, who knows? 20 of this garden it is time to put these beds in so here's our raised beds guys that we made yesterday got to get a couple more screws to put the top caps on these right here but uh, yeah i got a nice little rustic looking raised bed and we're we use that reclaimed wood from our teardown cabin and they are all going to go in a line right here. I'm gonna scoop some of this dirt back. We're gonna put this screen netting down underneath with some cardboard for weeds. And then we're gonna lay these beds in there and then take that dirt we scooped and put it back in the bed. But before that, we're gonna do some of the hugel culture stuff. We're gonna throw some sticks and mulch and stuff in there first and then put the dirt in. So here we go.
Guys, this badger is plant-based, no DEET, and it's super, super effective. You guys love this stuff. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. No harmful ingredients, no chemicals in here. All natural. Soybean, castor, lemongrass, rosemary, peppermint. It smells fantastic. Put it next to it. Face down. Flip it. Yes, it's okay the cardboard's long because we're gonna have a walkway now. Yeah. Weed control. Okay. Good? Yep. Okay. Cool. You had to step on it, didn't you? So pushy. Like an inch on one corner. Inches on this side. Alright, so we'll, then all the water runs. Yeah. Ready? Next thing we're doing is we're gonna put sticks in here and then we're gonna get the mulch and put the mulch in here. So guys, the gophers are already active. We put this fence up. There's fresh mounds right there, guys. So stay tuned for some more, for another episode of Gopher Wars. All right, guys, I'm using alder. And this just is garbage alder. It's not the big, tall alder. It's white alder, not the red. The red's actually good for burning for, uh, <clears throat> for barbecues. But this is not the red. This is the white stuff. It's garbage. Why did I pick green? My thought process is that the green is going to give off more heat as it can decomposes. I didn't pick anything out of the burn pile because it's already halfway rotted and dried out. And I don't want anything dry in there. I want something wet. So I'm going to cut these up right now. We're going to put it in the bed. We did about a six inch layer, but of course that'll all compact down, but that'll start decomposing, give a little bit of air space, good drainage on top of our gopher protection device. We take all the plastic tape off of this stuff. All those stickers are paper. So this is all gonna decompose really fast. But uh, yeah, of course, Olivia, you know, the women, the women need to have their garden looking pretty. So three feet, this has all got to be in line all the way down. It's got to look pretty. All right, we're going to put the, we're going to put the thing. Oh, you already cut a piece? Yeah. Wow. I cut them for all of them. Wow. Oh, you are on top of your game this morning. Surprise, he said. This is out of our compost bin for a year's worth of coffee grounds, eggshells, corn on the cob rinds, and everything else. Potato peels, all of our kitchen stuff is going in here. We're gonna I'm gonna bury it almost a foot under the dirt and it needs to rot some more. But this is so rich, it's slimy and stinky and well, it's not that stinky, but yeah. So Olivia has flattened these out and uh, she just put on the top. So you guys, might, I'm sure you're all gonna have a comment. Chicken manure blend, 
the chicken manure is hot. Our tomatoes ought to just explode. So we're gonna put a bag of that in each one of these things and mix it in with the with the sticks and stuff on the bottom and then uh, the compost inside and then chicken manure on top these beds ought to explode very quickly so oh that is such rich stuff look at that you guys wow chicken poop is the best can't wait till we get our chicken coop going and make our own chicken compost it's gonna be awesome hey guys we're almost ready to plant one last one to mix in the compost with and uh it's planting time we have all of our starts and all kinds of stuff over there here we go we're already running out of space you guys <laughs> three raised beds actually five raised beds and we're out of space and we don't want to fill everything with tomatoes kind of thinking about uh, so we got zucchini and cucumbers and everything else going to go over there because those are a vine that it, that spreads we need more room than one of these beds um, we've got green beans, so we're gonna have to we're gonna do another pole bean uh, right here with uh, some some string. We're just gonna put up some string lines right here. So uh, we'll give you guys an update and a little bit once we get this all planted and, and organized. No, here's a trick, guys. I'm going to well, I I saw somebody do this. Yeah, and it melts the edges. That way, it doesn't it doesn't fray. That works pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Check that out, guys. That worked really, really good. And now the edges are melted, so they won't it won't fray. So forget the knife. How's that? Is that more better? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That works really good. So guys, we did this newspaper um, planter starter cups. And look at that. I pulled the newspaper out and look at those roots that are just ready to start diving into the dirt. That's the idea. And the newspaper acts as mulch. Pretty cool. Well, don't you just plant it in with the newspaper? Well, you it open it up. Right to... through. Well, it will eventually, but if mm -hmm. we open it up, it'll make it a little easier for the roots to yeah. go through. So. And what are you planting here? I think this is I think this is watermelon. No, this looks like cantaloupe. Those roots out. All right, guys, the garden is totally in. The beds are in, planted. We've got everything planted. We've got our weed bed fabric down, and got all of our starts in. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. This, again, has been such a huge milestone for us at Hidden Valley Homestead, getting our garden in with the deer-proof fence. No point in planting anything if the deer is just going to come and mow it. So this was a massive project that we finally got done. And thank you guys for participating and leaving your comments and all that good stuff. And stay tuned. I have got the gate build, which is going to be a fun project for you guys to check out. I've also got gopher wars that are continuing. And i uh, got some fun stuff to show you guys there too. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys.